Hey guys, this is video 6, um, a water elemental from my fantasy art sketchbook. Um, so this piece is called Lionfish, and um, I'm not gonna lie, when I first started this piece, just sketching it in the sketchbook, uh, I thought, you know, man, she's really ugly. <laughs> um... I didn't want it to be a really pretty, you know, creature that looked like just anything else that I would typically draw. I really wanted to make this one unique and special in her own way. But honestly, though, when I was sketching her out, I wasn't quite sure where I was going with it. And I really did think it was an ugly piece. So looking at it now as it's coming together... Um, it's actually a really great piece. I actually really enjoyed putting this one together. Um, the sketch was questionable. Um, I wasn't quite sure where I was going with the sketch or how it was going to look. Um, lionfish are typically very spiny and they have a lot of fins and, um, Initially, I thought I would be throwing in a couple of lionfish in the art piece um, just to kind of break up the space a little bit more, but uh, I managed to get a lot of stuff into this art piece. So when I inked it in, um, I didn't take very long to ink this piece in and then getting to the color portion, that was a little tricky because after erasing a lot of my lines, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to color it in, what colors to use. Um, so it was a little tricky. I had to just kind of look at some reference pictures of lionfish and I picked out one where it was a bright red lionfish. Um, and uh, so I went with that and I just kind of worked upon it um, and then just kind of went in and continued to color and I was kind of having a little trouble with the background. I couldn't quite get my blues and greens to mix very well. Uh, at one point I had a marker that kind of died on me, so I had to stop the video anyway to basically get that marker taken care of. And um, But uh, overall, you know, I used the same materials that I usually use. Um, my Stadler fine liner pens and uh, Copic markers. And um, I didn't want to go too over the top detailed with this art piece. Uh, normally I would try to go in like with some colored pencils on top of those Copics and just keep going over the shadows a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, but I do realize that sometimes I can overwork an art piece. So I really wanted to avoid doing that um, and just kept it as simple as I could um, which is still fairly detailed um, compared to you know some other artists um, I go a little nuts with my detail work and uh, kind of get carried away and then next thing you know there's so much on the art piece that you have to constantly go back to look at it to see if you're missing anything so I didn't want to overwork this art piece. Um, I basically wanted to show different textures, uh, a different character concept for this lionfish character. Um, I wanted to make her fins look very flowy and uh, I wanted to give her a feminine look um, but still have a lot of features of a lionfish. And um, I wanted to kind of put her in a very neutral looking background, um, nothing too detailed. Uh, I didn't want any of the other details to kind of take away from her. So 
uh, basically made her the main focus and just kept adding more layers and more details and um, gave her a lot of speckles and freckles and uh, different, just mixing up different colors. There's a lot of blue and green and um, like reds and there is this one what I thought was dark red and uh, it was actually kind of like a purplish brown so that was kind of interesting um, and then also uh, as I get towards the end of the art piece you'll notice me switch out my white gel pens <clears throat> because they died not just one um, but they both died on me so I had to kind of scratch at the paper a little bit just to get like everything I could out of them um, before I ended up throwing them away and then my gold gel pen also died on me so I really couldn't put a lot of gold details in there but I did go in with a metallic uh, fine liner type of marker um, which is one of the ones that I got in a set from my friend um, she orders me like different art supplies and stuff on the Wish app so um, these metallic markers I've been wanting to use and they are so beautiful but they're really tiny and very delicate so I don't want to um, use them up on ginormous pieces like I have to kind of um, ration how I use them and what I use them on but they're very good markers and um, when I do have a little extra cash I will be getting them again so um, yeah so that's about the end um, here um, if you have any comments you could always leave me a message um, there's lots of ways to get a hold of me. Uh, just look in the description box below for all of that info. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.